fighting fit PTPCG asked if you could meet any character from one of the shows, not actor, character, which one would it be? Damon Salvatore. Have you seen him? I mean... Andre Sotil asked, Are you watching the World Cup and how do you feel about Australia getting eliminated? No. And I don't care. I'm sorry. Super Scully asked, Worst and best episode you've reacted to? And Nakobi Irby asked, is there anything you looked at and that you wished that you reacted to but didn't? So worst episode that I ever reacted to would have to be the Supernatural episode Family Remains because it had incest in it and I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> the best episode that I've reacted to would definitely have to be two that I haven't actually released yet. Uh, so... That would be, that's two upcoming reactions that you guys haven't seen yet and they're my favourite so far, like, that I've reacted to. Um, and those are The Vampire Diaries Season 3 Episode 19, titled Heart of Darkness, uh, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 5 Episode 7, which is full full up so that's two upcoming reactions you can look forward to they were really really fun to watch um yeah as for what i re wish i reacted to it would have been really nice to react to game of thrones from the beginning however i started the show when the show started uh i started watching the show back in was it 2010 that it started or something like that? I can't remember. But, like, I started watching it from the beginning, so I obviously didn't have a channel back then, so I wish, I wish, but unfortunately I can't. However, when uh, the last season airs, you best believe I will be reacting to it. Rumstar Gela Grande asked, Who is your favourite character out of TVD and Buffy the Vampire Slayer? That would be... Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Damon Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries. Yes, they're both vampires. Yes, they're both bad boys. I know. Shuri asked a bunch of questions, uh, but I can sum it up with answering just one. And that is, are you into sports? No. Claire Isles asked, If an episode of a show contained potentially triggering content, would you prefer to know upfront, even if it meant spoilers were given? A spoiler is a spoiler, and a spoiler can change my opinion, my reaction, everything like that. So, you know, I would say no. I don't want any spoilers. I don't want to be told that there's going to be triggering content, because you guys come here for raw reactions, real reactions, not, oh, I know that this is going to happen in the episode, gotta put it on, like, no, that's not, no. So yeah, if there's something triggering coming up, you can just giggle about how much I'm going to be triggered and then watch the reaction and then giggle some more because you're like, I saw this coming, you know? I don't know. Hopefully that made sense. Adrian D. Buttermunch asked, What are your thoughts on Prue slash Paige as the third sister in Charmed? Now, I screenshotted this from Discord. Um, I, I found out that, like, that they were just trying to make a conversation with me. I don't really have an I don't really have time to answer it on Discord, so I'll answer it in this video. <laughs> Uh, I didn't like Prue. I actually preferred Paige. 
um, because she was like the wonderment, she was excited about being, you know, a witch and all that kind of stuff. And that to me is the is the cooler character. I don't like the cynical, I don't want to be a witch type character. Like, I don't like the characters in TV shows that are like, I just want to be normal. I want a normal life. Blah, blah. Like, you're special. Be excited about it. it. There's nothing more frustrating to me than when, like, a character has this amazing ability and it's like, I'm not normal. I just want a normal life. Like, it's exciting when they're like, when, when they're like, yay, I'm a witch. Yay, you know? Anyways, yeah, hopefully that explains my, yeah. And to me, Prue was that stick in the mud. She wasn't all that happy to be a witch, but Paige was, so... Pegan asked, of the shows you're reacting to, which one surprised you the most? In a sense of discovering that you liked it a lot more, or less than you expected to? Honestly, probably Buffy. Um, it's got such a dorky name. I didn't, didn't think that I would actually make it past season two. Like my friend told me to, but you know, I did. And now I'm an addict. I was I was an addict by the end of season one, actually. D.E. asked, Since The Flash is your favourite superhero, are you Team Barry or Team Wally? If so, why? I've always been uh, a fan of Barry Allen. Um, I don't know, I just think he has the better storylines. I think he's a better character. I feel like he's more explored. In some aspects. Plus I really liked the animated feature film Flashpoint Paradox. However I really did like Wally in um, the Justice League cartoon. It's pretty funny. Jen Rose asked, before you started watching Buffy, what were your thoughts on it? Or what did you think it would be like? Honestly, the show's title is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It sounds dumb. Doesn't really sound dumb anymore. Because I know what it's, like, about now. But, like, it was... I just thought it was dumb. That's literally all I can say. Like, I just thought it was dumb. Like, I thought it was going to be stupid. That I was going to give up after a season. And I don't know. It sunk its claws into me. Have you ever thought about doing any other reactions to Joss Whedon shows? Firefly, Dollhouse, etc. Yes, in the future. Would you consider reacting to Marvel Netflix shows such as Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, etc.? Yes, that is definitely on the list to react to whenever I have time. Have you seen The Gifted and would you react to it? That is also on the list and I will get to it eventually. Would you consider reacting to Veronica Mars? It's a great compliment to Buffy. I've already seen Veronica Mars. If you do want to see reactions to Veronica Mars, check out Van Reactions. She does... Veronica Mars and Buffy, so if you want to check it out. Wondering if you'd react to Gravity Falls, Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things, or Killing Eve. I don't like Orange is the New Black. I've seen a few episodes, wasn't interested in it. Stranger Things, maybe one day. It looks a little scary and I don't like it. Killing Eve, I have no idea what that is. Gravity Falls, definitely a possibility as my Buffy editor uh, has done so much work for me and he is a giant, giant, giant Gravity Falls fan, so... Maybe I could repay him back someday in doing that. I don't know. It depends when I have time to react to stuff, when I have an opening, if, yeah. Will you react to Miss Robot? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't really know much about the show. Would you consider reacting to films or doing film reviews? Um, I've done a Avengers review in the past. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing them maybe if I knew what I was talking about. As for reacting to films, it's definitely a possibility. I know that I will be doing the Buffy movie um, at the end of the show. What are your favourite animes that you've seen? And what are some that you haven't seen that you'd like to watch and even possibly react to? My favourite anime to date uh, would have to be Mirai Nikki Future Diary. 
I really just really enjoyed it. Um, another one that I really really enjoyed was uh, Elfin Lied. El Elfin Lead? Elfin Lied? I'm not sure. But that was a really really good one that I really enjoyed as well. Um, as for if I would like to possibly react to anime, I'm not sure really. Some people get upset about English dubs. I can't read subtitles that quickly, so if I did ever react to any anime, it would probably be English dubs. But then that would really upset a lot of people, so I don't know. It's something that like maybe I don't I don't know if I'm ready to touch. After you finished a show, would you watch something else? And do you have a list? Or would you consider getting suggestions and maybe put them to a vote for everyone to vote for? Also, would you, if you haven't seen it, consider reacting to Roswell, the original series, before the reboot comes out? They also asked who my favourite person was in Prilla Lies and will I be reacting to the spin-off show of that? I do have a list of shows that I do when I get to. Um... But, like, I like the idea of maybe putting my list to a vote. Maybe one day. When I have space. But, like, that's in the very far future because I've got so many, like... The next 32 weeks, at least, is until the end of Buffy, I think. And that's the first show that's going to finish, I think. I can't find Roswell anywhere. I really, really want to watch it. Um, I've seen one episode and I watched it on YouTube and it was like a, like they altered the voice of all of the characters. So they all sounded like chipmunks. So it was kind of funny. Um, I did want to watch the whole show, um, but I don't think I could do reactions to it. I, I don't have enough time in the day. Like I'm stressing out as it is with the amount of shows that I watch and yeah. My favourite person was Hannah Marin, and my favourite ship on there, even though you didn't ask, was Haleb. That is the only ship that I ship. And will I be watching the spin-off show? Yeah, I will. I can't not watch it. I don't know if I'll... I, like I said, I don't... I really, really do not know if I'll be reacting to it, because, like I said, I don't have time to, but... I don't know. I, I don't, I really, really don't know. Suki asked, Did you rewatch the previous episodes and realise that the dawn has always been there? Did you go to the doctor to check your memory? Warm Little Diamond asked, Are you into horror? And would you consider doing horror movie reactions on YouTube? I can't do horror. No. I will not. No. 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 If you have seen the reaction to the Buffy episode, hush, I was hiding behind my jacket. If you have seen any supernatural reaction ever, I'm scared. I can't do horror. Barushka Petrova asked, How are you able to survive with giant spiders everywhere around you? I don't see giant spiders. No, not in that corner. Not in that corner either. I feel like this has been wildly misinterpreted. We have spiders. We do. I think I've seen a tarantula once in my life. Once. Maybe twice. Actually, I think we had a pet one. But, like, they're really not as common as you think here. Um, we have dirty long legs, I guess. But, like, really? I mean, we don't really have spiders. Nakobi Irby asked, Do you know you look like the girl from One Tree Hill? You know, the blonde curly hair one who's now married to Jeffrey Dean Morgan? I don't know who Jeffrey Dean Morgan is, but thank you for saying that I look like Peyton. I mean, I don't. But, like, that is a compliment, and I appreciate it. Because Peyton's my favourite. 
Cuban fella asked, What do you think I should... What do you think would be a good name for a female cat? I'm adopting a cat next month and I suck at naming pets. So I'm taking suggestions. So I'm not a cat person. I like dogs. But like, I like names that are like stupid. Like some people would name their cat like Lily or like a normal name. But like, I would name a cat like Paws or Socks. Zach0002 asked, What do you think of ginger people? And Paul led the question up with, Well, she likes Spike and he doesn't have a soul. Well, Zach, let's be real here. I'll level with you. You're ginger. Do I like you? I understand that it's taken a little bit of time to get these reactions out for you guys. But I've definitely been working on them. They're, they're all finished. I can talk about it now. It's good. I've seen all of season two of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and season two of Arrow. The first two episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. full reactions are on Patreon right now. The first two episodes of Arrow Season 2 will be out next week on Patreon. They're going to be full reactions. Uh, they'll be out on Wednesday and Thursday, which means that next week you guys will get... Uh, episode 1 and 2 on YouTube of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then the week after that, you'll get episode 1 and 2 of Arrow. The only reason that I've got Arrow starting a week later is because I had so much to do, so much to edit, so much to render, and everything like that. It was just easier and more efficient if I did it this way. I'm sorry you guys had to wait so long. Um, however, with the way that I'm doing things now, I should be able to get those, get the next season out to you quicker as well. I've just had to reorganize my entire schedule and all that kind of stuff recently. And with the way that things work now, it should be a lot smoother. And yeah, so I haven't given up on season two. They're coming. I'm still amazed at how insanely amazing this entire thing has just become this channel has just blown up 5,000 subscribers is crazy insane for me and I I can't believe it it's 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 awesome I hope you guys enjoy my content um there's so much more to come thank you for everyone being so patient um when I need to take like week a week off or something like that and, and it means a lot to me that you guys are so understanding and so patient with me and yeah and thank you to everyone that is currently a patreon um you guys you get content a week early which is exciting stuff for you but you guys it's more exciting for me because, like, you guys help me live. <laughs> you guys help keep the channel going. You're supporting me in ways that I never knew that people could support people. It's so unbelievably welcoming and kind and... I'm getting all gooey and gross again, so I'm going to try and leave this video here. So this has been a Q&A video. I hope you guys got to know me better. Um, I, I enjoy getting to know everyone. I want to know what your names are. If, if you're not 
comfortable telling me, that's fine. But I, I want there to be like a relationship here. And yeah, I want to know what your, your names are. Tell me a bit about yourselves. Because you guys are great. And I, I want to get to know you guys as hopefully well as you know me now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next reaction video.